and welcome back from the break. Now we're going to go back to Emma, who was at the Arts Theatre, and we're going to see what she found out with the actors. So, Jessie, tell me, what's your role in The Woman in Black? I play The Woman in Black. Um, my, my character's name is Janet, and she doesn't have... Uh, she has a, a large role in the play, but she's not on stage that often. But when she is, it's quite scary. Tell me about your role. Um, my role is the... Um, my character is the owner of the story. And he needs to tell the story in order to purge the ghost from his, from his life. And he hires the young man here to assist him to tell the story. And... Um, the story is told by way of um, the young man, or the young actor, playing me at the time when he encountered the ghost, and myself playing other parts in the story. Tell me, Sam, how have you found your role playing Eel? The thing that I've enjoyed most about this play is the opportunity to be in one, you know, one character, one focus for such an extended period of time. But you don't get the opportunity to do in a lot of a lot of plays but it's it's been fantastic to be able to do that and experience that for you know almost two hours the 20 minute break but to be playing and going the whole time it's fantastic the brisbane arts theater has been around for a very long time and i think you've been involved here for quite some time too my first um, um experience with the brisbane arts theater has was in 1998 um and i've always found that um for artistic um, expression that um, the art theatre is a good place for for, for to to uh, enable you to express yourself um, outside of the, um, the, the nine to five job. And you get to work with some very darkly poetic lines, interspersed with moments of playful humour, as playful as a lamb. Even tell me, how have you found working with this language, Sam? It's definitely been an experience. I think one thing that I love most about this play, or that I've gotten to discover, is just the really beautiful imagery in the in the play itself. The, a lot of the play is is descriptive because it's the two the two actors performing a story, and they're really you know using words rather than the images because they don't have them. Using some really beautiful and, and like you said, poetic words and yeah, and, and imagination just to put this story across. And I feel that the writing is is done so perfectly that you really can get those images across simply through the words. It's really beautiful. Yeah, lots of great stuff. And it's really interesting the way you get to play with so many characters in The Woman in Black. Yes, um, it's, it's a case of um, a lot of, lot of time in front of the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I try to, to tweak a dialect just to make it different from each character, a different facial expression, maybe a, a different a different body stance, and a change of uh, a change of costume in the form of a jacket or a hat, and um, generally that's enough to for a character to to com be completely contrasted to to another character. And you have to switch characters really very quickly on stage. Um, this role, this role. Um, the role of the, uh, of the storyteller, Mr. Kipps, is the role that uh, is the headspace that I sit myself in. Mm -hmm. um, the other characters are incidental to uh, the telling of the story. Um, it's, it's only in the second act where I start to, um, um, start to um, become emotionally aware of the, the characters within the character, if, if, if you like. Um, as far as switching between the characters, um, all I can say is that's just practice, practice, practice and practice. And uh, as I said before, lots of time in front of the mirror. How fantastico. God, I love you, Emma. Now that's all we have for this week, but uh, if you join us next week, same place, same time, and I'll be here.